Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. Today we'll start the probably three or four video series, uh, three or four part video series of a brand new rifle build that I'm doing, 16 inch rifle. Uh, it will be a recce rifle setup. Uh, from start to finish including paint. Uh, I cannot show you all of the steps and explain all of the steps because YouTube hates freedom uh, but I did take some video while I was assembling it uh, and this will be a video series the entire uh, video series and the entire uh, rifle is parts from AR-15 discounts. There will be a link to them down below. Now AR-15 discounts did send me two parts, uh, the bolt carrier group and the trigger group, and I had an old patron send me the barrel that is also available from AR-15 discounts. So let's get into it and see what I've got. So what do I have so far? So far, I have the complete lower assembly. Uh, again, everything is from AR-15 discounts. I'll put links down below. Um, and this lower itself is from a set that they sell, which is their ghost lower or their ghost receiver set, uh, their ghost Anderson receiver set. So it's made by Anderson uh, with no mark like Anderson markings or anything like that uh, so it is the forward rail it is the upper and lower everything stripped but we're gonna pay attention to this right now starting from the back uh, we have the NBS SOP mod stock uh, it fits mil spec buffer tube and this is the NBS mil spec buffer tube kit uh, this is metal uh, or aluminum of course, this is a polymer, and it came with a carbine buffer weight and spring. I started with carbine, the carbine weight just because I don't know exactly how the barrel is gassed yet, so I just figured I'd start there. Uh, but this is the NBS uh, SOP mod stock. Um, all the positions and all of that has the battery compartments in it as well. Uh, everything went together very well on this end of it. Everything seems to fit very well. Very little movement. Uh, nothing seemed out of spec. Everything threaded in and went in just fine. Now the, the lower parts group, the lower parts kit is a Dirty Bird lower parts kit. Very nice affordable parts kit. It comes with all the pins. It comes with all the springs, all the detents all the, all the uh, uh, um, uh, roll pins, the mag release, the bolt, the bolt catch. Um, it comes with the safety and the safety works very well. Um, everything, I believe the detents are made of brass or bronze, but either way, it's a, uh, it's a material that's not going to wear out. And that's not going to wear out the components that they're interfacing with everything went together really well and uh, they also supply an extra uh, front detent spring uh, front pivot pin detent spring and detent for those of us who always lose them now moving on to the trigger and uh, trigger group um, this is something that air 15 discounts sent me it is the dirty bird two-stage trigger it's four and a half pound pull um, it comes with two springs, two hammer springs, uh, a black one and a silver one. And uh, the silver one's a little harder, a little tougher. The black one is a little uh, weaker, a little lighter. So you have about a two pound take up and then a two and a half pound break, making about four and a half pounds. They say it could be plus or minus up to five pounds, but um, the two and a half pound, very crisp break. I very much so far like this trigger. It feels very nice. It releases very nicely. The break is nice. And the take up is very, very minimal. Just a little prep and 
off she goes. Uh, once I have the whole thing done, I will put a trigger pull gauge on it. Now rounding it out is the BCM Mod 3 grip. I love this grip. I have it on this. I have it on my 10.5. Um, and for the foreseeable future, this will be the grip that I put on anything that I assemble or put together. Um, fantastic grip. I really like how it's a more straight up and down design for that being able to tuck your elbow in a little bit and uh, you know fills the hand nicely. It's got nice texture on it from BCM and it's got a storage compartment in the end for you to put a new bolt in uh, or batteries or firing pins and st stuff like that. So, so far, so, so far this thing feels very nice. If you've never used these SOT mod stocks, uh, they give a great cheek weld. Um, you know, they fit in the shoulder very nicely. They're not incredibly fat, um, but uh, they're not super skinny for those people who you know, a like an in-between, but uh, yeah, this feels very good and I really can't wait to get the rest of this thing built. Now I went sort of budget with some of this stuff and sort of not. I didn't want to break the bank doing this. I wanted to sort of show that, I want to sort of show that uh, you can build your own rifle uh, without breaking the bank and oftentimes compete as long as you're doing your personal QC correctly and loctiting things and staking things. I haven't staked the castle nut yet or anything like that. Uh, but loctiting things and staking things that you can put together a rifle that uh, can compete with the best budget you can possibly con conceive of out there. Uh, and even into the mid to even higher range rifles, depending on the amount of money you want to spend. But, so this will come in, pr you know, minus optic, minus sights, things like that. This will come in likely right around the 600-ish dollar uh, to 700 dollar range, which I think is a good price for a rifle that you've QC'd, that you um, have put together, you've done all your research, and you've been able to look at the quality of each part and things like that, and you don't get stuck in some sort of a trap with some of these other budget companies uh, that their QC may be less than stellar. Okay, so that is it for the lower, the complete lower. Um, I tell you what, I really, I do like how everything fits in this thing. I really do like how everything fits in this thing. Um, no problems at all. Not a single hiccup assembling the thing. Check out AR-15 discounts. Links are down below. I don't know how much trouble I will get in into if I itemize each part down below. So I'm just gonna put an AR-15 discounts link down below. I'd like to thank AR-15 discounts for sending out this trigger. And of course the bolt carrier group, we'll get into that in another video. Uh, but thank you to AR-15 discounts for sending out this trigger. Um, it seems very nice thus far. It was very easy to assemble and has various springs and things like that that you can, uh, uh, you know, tune it yourself. Thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. Uh, hit that notification bell if you want more videos, and especially if you want more of the rest of this build series. Uh, because like I said, there'll be three, you know, two or three more videos to this, including painting it and first shots. Thank you everybody out there, supports the channel, and we'll talk to you later.